Welcome back to Mikey's Southeast Asia Research and Development Lab and Toybox. Want to show you another feature of the 3D printer today. I've been getting a lot of experience on it, uh, both doing design and prints and optimizing the way that the printouts actually uh, get laid out on the printer itself with the Simplify 3D software that I bought and also learning the techniques on how to to get the most uh, uh, output out of the printer without having a lot of really screwed up prints that you have to try again. So critical to that was leveling the platform to the 3D print heads themselves. And basically you can put in little shims or there's adjuster programs you can run to get it to the point where the print head just uh, extrudes a perfect bead of plastic it's just a joy to behold. I'm also using uh, 3M blue painters tape with a new uh, layer of tape for every print. Don't try and reuse it or something horrible will go wrong. Also between prints when I remove the tape I rub the print platform with isopropyl alcohol to get rid of any residue from the previous tape so everything sticks beautifully. Um, I've been doing uh, fun things like I printed out a little tiny Tesla Model S that I downloaded the model for. That looked pretty cool. So I started a monster printout of the same model but scaled way up. It's about a foot long. Unfortunately the power failed this far through the print and even though I have a UPS the, uh, the printer didn't survive the, the power glitch. So I have to figure out a way to print the top half of this and then, I don't know, glue them together or something because that's, that's six hours worth of printing that went into that. I've also made uh, some battery holders for 18650 style battery cells. There's one that will go on this end of the battery, one that goes on that end of the battery. And then these uh, bracket end caps will go on one end and the other end of those battery boxes. Those are both for a friend. I've done about 10 of these and about 60 of these guys. I've also been uh, designing and printing a, an 8-inch tablet bracket holder. Uh, I'll have a very, very detailed video on that later. But because of the complexity of where it's mounting, it's going to be in three pieces. The top piece that the tablet slides into. The middle piece where it lays with some cooling channels and some cutouts to the base. And then the bottom piece with a much better cutout along the bottom. So, I've been having a lot of fun. But what we're going to talk about today is the feature of the printer and the fact that it's got two print heads. The left one and the right one. When you're printing something that's a single color like this, you tell the software, you know, use the left one if this has the gray spool on it, or use the right one if this has the black spool on it. But when you're doing a two-color print, your model has to be designed with two-color printing in mind, and you have to set up the two desired colors here and tell the software which extruder to use for color A and which extruder to use for color B. It's quite easy to swap the uh, the spools of print. This one is red, and this one is black. I also ordered from Bangkok. I got a big spool of gray. That's where the Tesla came from, and then uh, also white. So, what we're going to do is download and print a specially designed two-color model, and we'll see how that works. I mean, it's going to be a surprise until I do the unveil, so I don't want to give too much away. But it's pretty cool. Alright, see you after the print's complete. Okay, back to this. It's been so many days since I printed this out, and I keep getting interrupted by other fun things. So let's just tear into this. So we'll do this, this bit first, because it, you won't have a clue what it is. And... It's just a little tiny black segment. I have to tr 
trim the tab stuff off later, but oops, there we are. Focus. Little tiny black thing. You'll see how that works in a minute. Now this is going to give it away. I don't want to be too aggressive with it. Ugh. look it's a head we'll get that trimmed up but you might have a clue now getting closer the print came out okay there's a bit of smearing of the black on the white where it's not supposed to be but hopefully I can just clean that up a little bit all right now we'll go for the big reveal Oh, this is going to just slide right off. Oh, damn, look at that. Stormtrooper. And the print again. You can see there's a little bit of smearing. Definitely going to need some trimming up, but the, the two color print worked well. He's got black on his shoes, he's got black on his knees and his hands and his waist, elbows, black shirt underneath with a black turtleneck. We're going to have to trim that up, get him off the base. But the white part is certainly looks fantastic. In hindsight, it might have been better just to use uh, print it all in white and then a tiny black paintbrush, but we got a dual head printer, so let's do some dual head printing. Okay, I'll get back to you when it's all tidied. Okay, after about half an hour of scraping and finely cutting with an X-Acto knife and only stabbing myself twice, here he is. Now, I got as rid of as much as the kind of the overprint, the normal cleanup that you would do. Most of it's good, except we've got quite a lot of smearing along the left side, and especially the left side of his helmet. This side turned out pretty well, just a little bit on the upper arm. And the legs are pretty good, except for a little bit on the shoe. But overall, I'm really happy. And thank you to the guy who built this 3D model. I'll put his name down there in the doodly-doo for you and uh, his head even turns. It's just that little black uh, pin that we saw the first thing I took apart and he's like wait who goes there? That's pretty cool. I like that a lot. So I think I'll treat this blackness uh, as a kind of battle damage. He just got out of a big battle with some Jedi or maybe he just hitchhiked onto a Vogon constructor ship. Oh uh, wait that's the wrong book. Anyway, there he is. It's my little Christmas 3D printed Stormtrooper. See you next time.